Hello and welcome to the Darren Smith Photography Tutorials. This video is all about the accessories you may use when taking photographs. Part 1 is all about the basics and the basic needs of your camera. Accessories are always going to be part of your kit, mainly as things that make it easier to take the photographs you want. I hope that these three videos give you a sense of the type of accessories which could be essential in helping you improve as a photographer. Part 1 is all about the basics and the basic needs of your camera. These will give you the chance to look after your equipment and make sure you are ready for your next shot. Whether you are a keen snapper or a professional, your camera will be your main asset. Protecting it should always be the top of your priorities. A decent camera bag or case will ensure that bumps and scratches are kept to a minimum and you know where your equipment is. Bags can come in several styles and shapes. It is a personal choice. We could use a shoulder bag which makes it easy to get at your kit. However, this may cause problems with posture if your bag is heavy. A rucksack will spread the load evenly across your back. However, it will make it harder to get at your kit, possibly missing your perfect shot. Your case does not always have to be a soft padded bag. Flight cases and reinforced expedition cases are all used to carry equipment in rough terrain. These offer excellent protection, however, they are not easy to carry around. Whatever you choose to use, it must be right for you, comfortable to carry and most importantly secure. There is nothing worse than taking your camera out and finding that your battery is flat. One of the best ways to ensure this never happens is to make sure your battery is always charged before you go out, or you have a fresh supply ready to put in if you do not have rechargeable batteries. This problem can also be prevented if you have spares ready to put into your camera. Camera batteries come in all shapes and sizes, depending on the camera being used. If you are using a compact camera, the batteries are comparatively small and lightweight. Larger cameras will probably have a higher capacity battery, which are larger and heavier, but will last much longer in use. It is essential to look after our batteries. My personal care guide is. Number one, don't short out the connections, as this could lead to fire or even a small explosion. Number two, don't overcharge them. Over time, this will reduce their charge capacity. Number three, don't get them too cold, as this will reduce their ability to function as a battery. Number four, don't get them too hot, as this will damage the cells. Treat them like us. If we get too hot, we are less effective too. And number five, don't drop them, as this could damage the cells, causing any of the problems above. To help protect them, most camera batteries will have a small plastic holder to keep the contacts covered. Spare batteries for your camera can come from other manufacturers. Photographers often debate whether branded batteries are better than those made by third parties. There is obviously always a price difference and perhaps some difference in quality control. The decision on the best option for you can only really come from experience. Many cameras also allow a users to attach a battery grip, giving the camera a little bit more functionality and effectively doubling its battery capacity. Some photographers, including me, find that having a grip attached also makes the camera more comfortable to hold. Another frustration for a photographer is a full memory card. From the introduction of digital cameras, people have always been advised to buy the largest memory card that they can afford. To a point, I completely agree with this. However, if your large memory card does get damaged, you lose everything. So my personal recommendation is to buy several cards that add up to suit your needs. As memory prices continue to fall, you can easily pick up a 32GB card for the same price as a takeaway meal. In general, a memory card needs to be cleared whenever you are finished with it after your shoot or trip. As a rule, I clear every memory card after use and format it ready for the next time in camera. It is a practice that ensures that my storage is always in top condition. For most snappers, any memory card is suitable. However, for those of you who take their photography more seriously, you might wish to invest in a faster memory card. The price of memory cards mostly depends upon how fast they write to or read from. Faster cards will obviously transfer the image data quicker, enabling more images to be captured over a shorter space of time and reducing the time taken to copy them to your computer. For those of you who work with the more traditional film cameras, it is also very annoying when your camera reaches the end of the film. Typically, there are between 8 and 36 shots on a roll of film, and a single shot on a plate camera. Also, if it has been used, it needs to be replaced before another picture can be taken. Having replacement film is essential, and with shops rarely selling film nowadays, carrying spares is vital. Unused and used film can be carried easily and stored in their containers, which keep light out to prevent them from being damaged. Keeping your equipment clean is a necessity. If your lens is dirty, it will clearly show on your pictures. 
you can keep your camera clean using a brush or a blower, cleaning wipes or a glass tissue. A lens cleaning cloth is probably the most important, as it is the same as the cloth used to clean a pair of glasses. It removes grease and dirt from the surface, effectively polishing it. Several of these tools are also useful to keep your subject clean. A small paintbrush or blower can be used to clear dirt away from a flower or dust off an ornament, improving your photograph. Over time, your camera sensor may also pick up specks of dirt, pollen or dust. We can clean our sensors ourselves with a sensor cleaning kit. However, if you're not confident enough to do this, then there are several companies which will clean the sensor for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Please feel free to check out more at darrensmith.org.uk or on YouTube, Twitter or Facebook. Thank you for watching.